There was one time we were sitting around at John Sawat and some of his students from Bangkok, and he pointed to the mountain over there in the east, and he asked them, is that mountain heavy? Of course, when Anajan asks a question like that, you know, there's, you can't give just a, a stupid answer. So nobody answered. So he gave the answer himself. He says, if you try to pick it up, yes, it will be heavy on you, but if you don't try to pick it up, it may be heavy in and of itself, but it's not heavy on you. And that encapsulates the Buddha's teachings on suffering. There are a lot of things in the world that we can make ourselves suffer over. We have to know when to pick them up and when not to pick them up, because there are some issues you have to deal with. There are times you do have to pick things up, but you also have to know how to put them down, because there are things we pick up like that that weigh us down. The events of the world are just the events of the world. We have to choose which ones we're going to take responsibility for, which ones that we're going to have to think about and we have to plan about. So there are cases like that when you do have to pick up a couple mountains. But if you're carrying the mountains around all the time, it wears you down, and then you end up not being able to carry anything at all. So learn when to pick things up, when to put things down. When you put things down, you can bring the mind back to the breath. The breath can then support you. It will pick you up, give you a sense of well-being, a sense of ease, a sense of refreshment here in the present moment. So that you have the strength when the time comes, when there are responsibilities you have to shoulder, when the duties have to be done. Okay, you pick them up and you have the strength to do it. So get to know this spot here inside where the mind and the body meet at the breath. And get to know the breath energies in the body. When you breathe in, where do you feel it? Is it a whole body process or only a part body process? If it's a part body, you're not getting the full benefits out of the breath, because the whole body should be nourished by this energy. So notice where there are blockages, where the breath energy doesn't seem to flow. And just think of the breath either penetrating, permeating through those blockages or going around them. Make connections inside. So as soon as you focus on the breath, a good energy spreads immediately throughout the body. And then you can maintain that good energy. Not only while you're sitting here, but also while you're walking around, while you're helping with the chores. Have a sense of good energy nourishing you, refreshing you. Because it's there. The potential is there. It's just that we don't take advantage of it. And John Lee used to comment on this, that the human body has lots of potentials that we don't take advantage of. And it's a shame. And this is one of them, that we can provide a sense of well-being, a sense of nourishment, refreshment, simply by thinking about the breath, allowing the breath to spread throughout the body, allowing the mind to rest with the breath. So when the mountains of the world come in and you have to shoulder them, okay, you have the strength. They don't weigh you down to the point where they crush you. And when the time comes to put them down, you can put them down neatly, and then just throw them away. That's how you live in this world, and are responsible in the world, but also responsible for yourself, taking care of yourself. Because only when you take care of yourself can you handle the responsibilities of the world in a skillful way.